What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another reverse 1999 video. Okay guys, the event has officially landed. The satellite event has started as of today and some information for you guys to know. For the first five days after the satellite is published, four commissions will be available per day. Follow the clues provided in the commissions and defeat the correct monster to gather blueprints of a mysterious formula and enter the brew phase. If you watched my previous video about this, I talk all about that. During the limited time of the brew stage, follow the instructions and add the proper ingredients in the correct order. A successful brew will be awarded with clear drops and upgrading materials and unlock messages from the satellite for your uh, perusal. Attention, daily orders will be refreshed at 5 a.m. every day server time. Okay, so let's jump into this, guys, because I want to see what this is all about. Uh, we're going to actually look at the event. We're going to look at some clues. We're going to try to find the monster. So you guys have a general sense of how to do this. I'm going to do this on both accounts. I'll only record on this one, obviously. So for those who don't know where the event is, you click on this little um, gift box. You'll see the satellite, right? A famous newspaper in London posted an AD looking for decoders. They claim to have found a pile of manuscripts, a color for autistic symbols, and believe there might be a huge conspiracy hidden behind the mysterious formulas on them. How, uh, whoever decodes the symbols correctly will receive abundant rewards from the newspaper. Okay, so let's start us off. So, first thing, you can see how this works. Select an order and press go. It'll take you to the stage. Defeat the critter and get the brewing materials. Then you add the brew materials to the alchemy and you, you actually brew what you need. And then you get yourself the material and then clues uh, to get extra things like clear drops. Okay, pretty straightforward stuff here. So here is the first one. It is, in fact, the, the King Buncule uh, Grave of Devices. So if you click Go, it literally takes you there. So all you got to do, guys, is click on Start. Now, if you plan to do this anyways, this is great because it is for EXP. I'm going to go ahead and load this. It's going to just do my auto. I need to do this four times anyways because I'm looking for as much dust as possible to get, get the rest of my characters up. So this is the first one. So essentially what you do, guys, is we'll beat this. We'll get the clue. We'll go back and kill the rest of the mobs as well too. get those clues and then come back here and just pretty much put the brew together and I'll show you guys how the alchemy works. Okay, so this is my first time doing it as well. So bear with me. Um, it might not be perfect, but at least it'll give you guys a general sense of how to do it yourselves and learn from any mistakes that I make along the way. So let's go ahead and finish this up. I have to redo some of these stages. My characters are way higher in level now. Uh, and unfortunately, I just, I'm too lazy to, to do this on my own. Um... So this has got to be one of the coolest mobs I've ever seen in my life. It's so hilarious that there's like a giant, like, looks like a paperback dinosaur in their back. Okay, so let's go ahead and kill this off. Yeah, I'll definitely have to redo this because I can probably do this way faster now. Okay, there we go. Done. So we got, you can see here, Order of the Satellite. Uh, carbon oh we got two of them actually done at the same time that's amazing so we killed two birds one stone guys so let's see what we got here okay going back now to the event so if we go to right here so you can see brew and brew right so two are done so we'll do these two first and then we'll finish it up okay so let's go go there um, we can probably do hard mode mm, what is fixed and fixed versus this one yeah let's do hard mode We'll do this once, all right? I'm going to just go one time here. It's perfect. We'll replay this. I think it's only two, yeah, two rounds of mobs, so it's pretty fast, this one. So you'll be doing this every day for the next five days. Essentially just going in, killing mobs, getting story mode done. Okay, there we go. One dead, two more to go. And it's kind of cool because, like, this is such a low-key event. Now, it is a mini event. Keep that in mind, guys, right? Because this is the, the pre-release of 1.1. So there you go, Cacti done. Um, so there will be a bigger event dropping once 1.1 1, 1 .1 does come out. So we'll see a lot more involved events eventually. This was considered a mini event with mini rewards. Let's go back here again. And then last one is the Orange Orchard. Let's go back to hard here. We'll do this one. We'll do the times one real quick and then play that out. Yeah, see, like, you can even see my character, like, uh, Beak Hornbloom doesn't even have the Insight 2. And uh, Balloon Party doesn't have Insight 2 either. So, yeah, definitely some of these will have to be redone by myself manually. 
that's I have to admit that's one thing in the game I love and hate. It's like a love and hate relationship with this auto system. Like I love the way it's done because there's no RNG, there's no uh, you know uh, possible way for this to to mess up if you've beaten it, which is incredible. But I hate having to go back and redo it and update it. But I mean that's just me being lazy. Okay, so there we go. All done. So let's go back to the to the actual brewing, and we'll put all four ingredients. And in. now I imagine what happens here is you get to brew them one at a time. So if I go brew here, okay, so we we'll go brew. And now you have to make sure you click on the right and add that one. Oh, so they want us to add this one. There we go. Add, add. Okay. Oh, I get it now. So you got to add them one at a time. I got it. And it's, it's the ones that it's, it's counting on. Okay. Pretty easy. There we go. Got yourself some items. Next one. I actually wish we got the material. Oh, so it tells you the material order on top. You can see up here what it tells you to do. Okay, perfect. Oh, they switch it on you once in a while. That's tricky. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, done. I mean, pretty pretty easy, guys. And you're getting 30, 30 per brew. That's not bad, actually, at all. Like, see, it's weird because the last video I made about, like, my lessons learned... I, I, I refresh as free to play twice a day. People are some people are losing their minds over that. I think it's crazy not to refresh as a free to play, especially twice a day, because it's cheaper and the amount of resources and dust that you get to level up your characters and get like get further in the game, I think is is worth the actual. So there's actually two, only two dust there. Or clear drops. So that that time I didn't get a dust. Interesting, okay. Or I didn't get um, clear drops, sorry. So we only get two clear drops for clears. And then, let's see if this one gives me anything. Yeah, only two. Okay, so there you guys go. So we get 60 in total per day. The other two don't give us that. So you guys can see here, day two, three, four, and five, right? And I think that's it. That literally is it. You just complete that up. And then that's the event in a, in a nutshell. So pretty straightforward, guys. Really, really easy event. Just go in there. It helps you with your dailies because you're like you'll finish all your missions here by doing that. And then also, I don't know if you guys have logged in today. Today's day eight. So I got myself a DK, uh, which I don't think shows anymore. Yeah, it's gone now, um, which was kind of nice. So I have to go and upgrade her. And then also today in the mail, which was kind of cool too, we got ourselves five. So five of these um, candy jars. So kind of, kind of cool. So this is here where it tells you, thank you for your support. Version 1.1 will arrive in one week with new events and character stories. In return for your valuable feedback, we have prepared a small jar, jar of uh, precarism candy. Looking forward to seeing you again. So 1.1 drops in one week. Brand new event going on right now. Take advantage of it, guys. Get some free clear drops. Easy, uh, I guess, easy resources as well, plus inside material. So there you guys have it. That's how it works. Super, super simple. Get in there. Uh, remember, 1.1 is dropping. So if you're looking for, um, I think it's Melinda or, and then also Pickles, they're going to be dropping as well too with a brand new story and events to accompany them. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.